Hello and welcome from uh, Mikkeli in Finland. Uh, this is the second city where we go uh, with uh, our project City Loops. And this is part of uh, what we call the stakeholder engagement workshops. This is one out of uh, three. And um, during these workshops, we try to um, go inside of uh, these uh, seven cities that we have in City Loops, try to better understand the two sectors that we're studying. One is construction, second is the organic flow or biomass sector. And what we do uh, in the seven cities is to um, try to understand the bigger picture, try to understand all of the flow rather than just the waste or rather than just what is happening in demonstrators in order to have the, the most impact, to, to really understand if the actions that we're doing have a bigger impact on the entire sector. That also helps us to upscale um, if we, um, if we, we know that these demonstrators are happening and we know that they work, we would then know where to put other demonstrators, what are the main priorities for future demonstrators. So I have to admit it's a tough exercise because of course we're talking about a system and system is quite broad and it can scare people away because of this uh, more or less comprehensiveness or complexity. So we're trying our best to, to understand to help uh, stakeholders understand why it's so relevant to work at it. And uh, our point of view is that if you don't do that at the sector uh, level, then you can't uh, really know what you decide upon or your decisions will be just a part of things. That's why we specifically spend a lot of time to define what is the system boundary, what's included in calculations, what's excluded from calculations. And when we exclude something from calculations, to better understand, to better remember that your choices and uh, your decision making will be excluding one part of it. So we did the sector, the two sector wide um, mapping uh, this, uh, this week, this uh, yesterday and the day before here in Mikkeli. And it was uh, really interesting to figure out uh, these uh, two completely things, uh, well, these two completely sectors that are slightly interwoven, of course, because in Finland there is a lot of wood. Uh, so wood can be used, uh, well, is part of the biomass sector, but it's also part of the construction sector. It's also very um, interesting to, to see how little we know about imports and exports. While we know a bit what's happening in our territory, uh, most of the cities have um, difficulties to know where do things come from and therefore um, what can they do about it. So when we talk about circularity, of course, imports are just one part of the, um, the whole circularity. Uh, we want to cycle what's coming out of your city, but it's, it's also good to know where does it come from and is it renewable and is it toxic, etc, etc. The results that we get from these type of exercises are, let me just show you these big diagrams where we start with the whole life cycle of the sector, so going from extraction to manufacturing to use to waste, but also imports, exports and how the waste is treated inside or outside. We get results such as this one. Um, so this is a map where we can go from extraction here to a waste over here. And the postage that you will see here are actually uh, different things. We have flows, but we also have actors, we have policies and studies. So we do not necessarily only want to learn um, what the flows are that are imported and exported from all the cities. We want to know who is controlling them who knows a bit more information about it, have the city has already done any study, so we don't need to do this work all over again. And by putting all of these post-its from all of the relevant stakeholders that, ha that had uh, a lot of knowledge in their field, I think it also starts uh, building collaboration between these stakeholders. We care about what you're doing because we can see ourselves in the system. We can see what you're doing, we can see what we are doing, and we can see the benefit of collaborating or um, making uh, synergistic, uh, synergistic um, actions. From, from our side, I think it was really interesting to, to see that this case study, um, this city, 
which has 53 to 55,000 inhabitants and holds a, a huge amount of, uh, of land, of area. Um, how do we uh, tackle these um, lesser dense areas in Europe? Uh, because infrastructures um, in general in cities are supposed to be dense, uh, well, to, to provide dense areas. Over here we have something completely different. So it's really interesting to, to see the shift of it and how could we provide infrastructure that are not necessarily based on density but also can provide the service uh, to, to this wider area. In our case here in the biomass, for instance, I can see here there is a lot of wood, so even uh, energy is produced with a lot of wood. Uh, and I was really surprised that uh, Mikeli already has its own um, well, biogas plants, but also uh, wastewater treatment uh, and a number of uh, waste and uh, resource recovery initiatives. Uh, there was the Ecosidla uh, Eco Park as well that is starting to, to be built. So, uh, for such a small city, well, sorry, uh, 55,000 can seem uh, small, but uh, I was very impressed about the amount of infrastructure that they get. Um, and I'm really curious what the results of this analysis one will get, the numbers will show us, and the, the priorities that uh, will uh, transpire or um, manifest from it. That's it from uh, Mikeli. Uh, I hope you enjoyed. We'll continue to share our adventure with this uh, City Loops project. Uh, next time I'll see you in Bodo. That's uh, this afternoon or, and probably tomorrow um, evening or on Friday I'll try to report back. Thanks a lot and see you soon.